in an earlier grammar point, we learned the conjunct verbs. Let's quickly recap the conjunct verbs. The conjunct verbs have two components. The first one can be a noun or an adjective, and the second component is a verb. The most common verb, the second component in a conjunct verb is the verb karna. For example, nashta karna, to have breakfast, pyar karna, to love, galti karna, to make mistake, jhagda karna, to quarrel, fight, etc. Today we'll learn more about the conjunct verbs. There's an interesting feature about the conjunct verbs with karna. The verb karna in such construction can be replaced by the verb hona, such as nashta hona, pyar hona, galti hona, jhagda hona. This produces the same meaning. The meaning stays the same, but with the nuance that can be translated into English as a passive. For example, galti karna and galti hona, they both mean the same make a mistake. Let's try to understand through an example. मैंने बहुत बड़ी गलती की. I made a big mistake. कल मुझसे बहुत बड़ी गलती हुई. Yesterday I made a big mistake. Or literally, a big mistake is made by me yesterday. A big mistake by me happened yesterday. The second sentence is a bit odd in English, but it is very common in Hindi. The second sentence in Hindi gives an additional nuance of the mistake happening unintentionally. It conveys a subtle sense that the mistake was unintentional. Let's take another example. Jhagda karna and jhagda hona to fight. Lakshmi and Rakesh ne bahut jhagda kiya. Lakshmi and Rakesh had a fight. Lakshmi and Rakesh fought with each other. Lakshmi and Rakesh ke beech mein bahut jhagda hua. There was a big fight between Lakshmi and Rakesh. Let's take some more examples of conjunct verbs with karna and hona parallelly. Shuru karna and shuru hona to start. The first one with karna is transitive and the second one with hona is intransitive. So here the difference can be translated into English as the difference between the transitive and the intransitive constructions. Shuru karna is to start something and shuru hona means for something to start, to be started. Let's take a few examples. Hamne do baje natak shuru kiya. We started the play at two o'clock. Do baje natak shuru hua. The play started at 2 o'clock. The next one, tayar karna and tayar hona. To prepare or to get prepared. Ma chote ladke ko school ke liye tayar karti hai. Mother prepares the boy for school. Mother gets the boy ready for school. Chota ladka school ke liye tayar hota hai. The boy prepares for school. The boy gets ready for school.